Welcome to the West Winds Breviary. We trust these short online services will inspire you and ennoble you, giving you hope and courage as you shadow God in the redemption of the world. Grace and peace, everybody. Thanks for being with us today on the West Winds Breviary. Judgment satisfies so long as you are the judge. You are not the judge. Matthew 7, why do you see the speck that's in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, uh, let me take the speck out of your eye, when there's a log, a log in your own eye? You hypocrite! First take the log out of your own eye, and then you'll see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. This, I think, is what is driving all of us so crazy about the internet right now. Everybody is very quick to point out the speck here and the speck there and the speck over there. And people are walking around like, like they got a whole entire tree. Like there's a California redwood, a giant stick of bamboo sticking out their face. It drives us crazy about our politicians. It drives us crazy about our ministers. It drives us crazy about our friends. It certainly drives us crazy about anyone with an opinion on anything who loudly and vociferously proclaims, you're wrong, you should stop. How could you? Why? And and you just think, uh, you know, for a culture that wants to defund the police, we're, we're pretty excited about lay, laying the full measure of the social and moral law against everybody else. I mean, we are, we are so quick to judge, to tell them, stop it, you're doing it wrong, to tell them, knock it off, you're infringing upon me. You're, you, you need to learn. You need to know. And, and I think at the root of it is a desire not only to expose what other people are doing that's not right, uh, but, but also to straighten them out so that they get in line. And we do this without a, a full appreciation of the fact that we're not totally in line. So if they got perfectly in line with us, that just means we'd be doubly screwed up in some other direction. And, and more than anything, there's a desire to, to humiliate, to shame, and to embarrass. We're, we're judging and, and we need to, to, in our own spirits, knock it off because it doesn't, it doesn't do us any good. See, when you, when you focus on the sin of someone else, 
you're blind to your own sin. And as long as I focus on your sin, well, then I don't, I don't have to deal with mine. In fact, I feel really righteous because I have correctly identified their sin. Their sin here, and I have found it. I am a sin detective. Thanks. Happy to be of help. And, and the truth is, I'm not supposed to be looking at your sin. I'm supposed to be looking at my sin. I shouldn't be judging you. I should be inviting God the Holy Spirit to judge me. And so instead of taking the posture of judge, why don't we do what the Scripture repeatedly suggests? Why don't we do what God himself does and advocate? See, an advocate is the other person in the courtroom besides the judge, a, a defender. We ought to be people who represent others well so that their stories are told honestly, fairly, and justly to the people around us. We ought to be people who elevate and celebrate the good things around us and the good people around us. And friends, that's that's what I want us to, to constantly just be thinking of. It's in all the toxicity in our world today, all the fear, that just to constantly be reminding ourselves, wait, wait, let me stop. Let me stop and see if I can reframe all that's happening and speak into it with a voice of positivity. Let, let's stop. And instead of decrying this guy or that guy, is there someone I can encourage? Let, let's stop. And instead of piling on more and more and more garbage, let, let's ask God the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us to be people of blessing, to be people of encouragement, to be people of radical generosity and self-sacrificial love. Let's, let's ask God to make us Christians. When we are hungry, you are Lord, when you meet needs, you are Lord, when we are wanting, you're the bread on which we feed. Thank you.
Why is it easy to tell others how to live and not live ourselves? We are not the sin police. God did not make us to judge. Grace and peace, everybody. Thanks for watching today on the West Winds Breviary.